Thank you for joining us. I'm Jim Benneman. And I'm Karen Lee. We are also streaming right now on CBSN Denver. Protections for workers at food processing plants concern community activists and some of our lawmakers. Now, despite some plants being the center of outbreaks, they've been ordered by the president to stay open. It's all to protect our nation's food supply. Connor McHugh joins us live tonight in Denver. And Connor, companies and lawmakers are really trying to find a balance between worker safety and keeping those shelves stocked. Yeah, Karen, that has been the predicament for several weeks now. But U.S. Representative Diana DeGette says trying to find that balance can sometimes be too risky for the lives of many employees at some of these meat processing plants. She says today she wrote a letter to the director of the CDC asking for better guidelines that are much more enforceable. Due to a presidential order, meat processing plants remain open, fulfilling America's critical food needs. Still, the current COVID crisis remains a major concern for workers, many of whom are from low-income and minority communities. You're talking about a group that could fall very easily through the cracks. Right now, the workers are afraid. It's why U.S. Representative Diana DeGette wrote this letter to the CDC asking for further protections to workers. In it, she describes crowded conditions, poor management practices, and federal guidance that falls short. They say, well, people should be tested, but they don't say how often, who should be tested, and what you should do if people test positive. DeGette says the current CDC guidelines are unenforceable, causing application to vary. At Cargill in Fort Morgan, employees were given temperature readings and provided masks and dividers early on. JBS now does much of the same, but was much slower to act, critics say. We're seeing that hundreds of workers are getting sick. I think seven, pe seven workers have died at the JBS plant. For get as well as workers' advocates, there's no healthy supply chain without healthy people. And I understand the conversation around regulations, but this is food. This is stuff that's going on people's tables. Now, Representative DeGette says this is not just a meat processing plant problem. This is a problem with all types of food processing plants. In fact, a recent report found more than 13,000 cases have been reported from just 194 facilities in our country. Live tonight in Denver, Connor McHugh covering Colorado First. Connor, thank you.